in this video, I want to talk about what is having a dog. Look, what is having a dog? First of all, there's no secret of having a dog. You cannot have a dog. You have to understand that what's the next step. That's a fact. You can't have them all. You can't have everything in life the way you wanted it, the way you desire to possess it. Everything in this life is a mind, it's an illusion. You saw the mountains. The mountains are there for thousands and thousands of years. You know that. It's there. Only if you look at it. Only if you value it. I value Most of us, when we are in our childhood, value it, the beauty of nature, my outer blocks, mountains. We all have gone through the stages, stages in life where we value things. They exist only when you believe it exists. Only when you tune your mind to look into the beauty of it. If you don't value something, in spite of whether it is beautiful or not, it just simply doesn't exist. That's what I said the word is made of now. What is a reflection of your thoughts? There are things outside that makes, which is alienated from you, but makes a huge influence on your decisions and your functioning, the way you conduct yourself. One of the finest definition of what money is by Karl Marx. He defined money as the alienated force that makes you do things or modify your behavior and that obviously going to create the outcome difference. Why I bring that here? Everything in the world which is material not part of, spiritually not part of you, not born within yourself. They are all aliens to you. They are all alienated from you. Then yet, they make a lot of influence on you because you try to possess them. Although you are the one who is creating the value of those things in your mind. That's the irony of it. If you understand, Put a little bit more thought into what I said, you will understand. Go back and rewind and learn. Listen to it. You value things. Those things may or may not exist, physically exist. Like this mountain, it may exist, but then even the mountain would not exist if it is not registered in your mind as well. So everything happens in your mind. Having said that, the whole thing of having it all, I don't want to sound more uh, philosophical or uh, completely spiritual. I know you, everybody wants to live their life in a way 
every normal human wants to live in desire for things, who want to acquire things, and enjoy things, 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 and things. I, I do get it. But then, without philosophy, we don't exist. We are, we, we are converting ourselves into machines without the philosophy guiding. Philosophy is what we are. That's why it's very important for you to spend time on understanding these things. Whether you are uh, you are a businessman or an investor, multi-billionaire, you know, running family offices, or uh, you are investing, you are family work, and you really want to be uh, successful in life. But end of the day, it comes to what really you desire to possess and desire to value. That's what is very important on a daily basis uh, to validate what is happening now. We have seen many, many stories every day. Whether you are a small guy, I'm talking about economically, 95, common man, whether you are a multi-millionaire or a multi-billionaire businessman, you are a celebrity, regardless of who you are, every day you need validation in life. In order to live that particular day, you need validation for that day to remind you that you have everything in life. Reasonable. You know why I'm saying you reason. You can have, even within the uh, definition of having now, uh, you have to be reasonable. You can't have the wrong person, but then you need to try to have maximum. You've got to be reasonable. You can't you know, try to be, uh, you know, you, 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 you have to limit what you define. What you want. So having it all is basically nothing. We cannot have them all. And second thing is the all means what? All is not the same thing for everybody. The definition of all is a collective or a collective thing. Make them all. So what is that collective item? You cannot have all indefinite all. Indefinite all is again not all. It doesn't end. You know, mathematically, you cannot say something at all if it doesn't end. If it's a continuum, it's, if it is a continuum or if it is an infinity, you can say the word all. Because you haven't counted that. Right? Think about it. So, all without the identified list of things is only, yeah, desire. It has no meaning to it. It will lead to frustrations in your life. It will lead to anxiety. It will lead to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, disturbances in your mind and eventually in your life. So it is very important to sit and define what inclusive of your of not somebody else of your of a collective discrete collection of items that you wanted to have. It could be the material stuff, it could be the people that you wanted to bring in your life, relationships that you wanted to build in your life, it could be the goals that you wanted to achieve to declare yourself successful. By the way, you can declare yourself successful at any level. One can declare financial success just by achieving a little bit of what they have 
right? They can put that as a goal. They can achieve and declare their success. Success is never uh, a one-time achievement. You know, it, uh, once you get one thing, uh, it can you go for next. You know, go for next. So you suddenly say, "Oh, I wanted to become a millionaire." You have hundred thousand dollars now. You wanted to go for millionaire. It never ends. So, how to define this all? Again, it is subjected to what you really value. Your, your all is a collection of things that you value more. You desire to possess. You wanted to have more. Those collection of items should make your all. By the way, you can have multiple alls in your life. That's a better way to approach your life. You should not have one all. You should have multiple alls in your life. Each one of all, each one of these all should be a collective collection, and they should come. To is the purpose by itself. It should what the word is entirety. The collection should have the entirety. It should bring the feeling of feeling your ego of uh, having now. As I said, it could be a combination of material and non-material. Being a karma yogic, I know uh, I talk a lot about uh, you know detachment and attachment. That helps you a lot to actually do the wedding process. Anything, anything that is going to make you feel bad later. Anything that can destroy your peace, anything that can modify your behavior, anything that can change who you are or change who you should be for this world, you should detach from it. What you become is more important than what you have. Right? That's the that's a secret. That, that's a mantra. Mod, any behavioral modification, what you become, if you become some somebody else by having that particular eye in your own, you should. Even if you have it, you should detach. First of all, not to have it as a part of your own. But try to be that strong. Attached to the things that makes you feel joyful, makes you feel complete, and which is going to not behavior your uh, modify your behavior, but transform you into a beautiful person. Transformation is different from modification. You can transform. Everybody transforms in life. We, we transform every day. We transform. But modification is not natural. So you have to learn to get the items, the collections in your form. That's the most important thing in having. Do the wedding process. Is it really that I wanted to process? Is it really going to make me feel happy, permanently, joyful? Is it going to make me feel good about myself? Am I going to be financially free by having this thing? Am I going to be feeling like that I'm going to be rich? Probably you should not. No? Mostly you should not stay away from things that you want. That's going to make you feel rich. Because that richness is again a lot of material attached to it. Anything too much of material. 
Remember the other day, uh, the other video that I talked about. God did not create these materials. The mountain, creation of God, nature. It will like this tall, beautiful. It transforms season to season, transforms into a beautiful snow capped mountain, transforms into a green, maybe blue snow capped mountain during the winter, and then beautiful green mountain during the spring and summer. Even if it is a dry season, it has to be color. That transformation without modification, that should be you. So, Material stuff are not going to help you to have the feeling of having it all. We have seen many billionaires, millionaires committing suicide suddenly. You may think that something happened. Come you know, some tragedy happened in, 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 in uh, most of these people's lives. But if you take the statistics, it's not the, it, uh, the tragedy happens to all of us right, in our lives. I'm lucky enough to have a lot of trouble in my life. Why do I say it is? Because it made me learn more about life and stay ahead of things and then Keep going. Possess a lot of uh, uh, a lot of skills, a lot of inputs in life. Now you get it from these incidents. Yeah, you try to define these things as a tragedy because you you behave that way. Your response to these things are really coming from the heart, not from your mind. I know it is difficult to say, yeah, I'm not suggesting you have to be like a machine, don't respond, you know, uh, react to anything. I know everybody, every human has to go through the phase of sorrow to go through the tragedies. But the tragedies alone are not the reason for most of these, uh, you know, people losing their perspective in life. The one thing that makes uh, they are suddenly, you know, feeling that they have nothing to live in this life for is this. The feeling of having it all is either missing or miscalculated or misconceptualized. That all was wrong or they got into a collection of wrong things in their life and, and thought that's all they wanted. So be careful in terms of what you are going to have in your own. With them, one thing at a time. As I said, have multiple arms. That's your hedge. You should have multiple arms. To keep give, getting more perspective in life, every day basis. Life is so beautiful, and life can be tragic as well. Same day, you may feel either. But what makes you to keep going is the perspective that can bring. If one all is missing, you will switch over to the other all. Okay, it's just possible. You can get into a, become a new author of yourself to play another role. Mm -hmm. World, you play, you are only a pawn in this world. I've been telling many, many, many times, I repeat it, so many years I've been preaching this. We are only pawns, a karpa, sorry, the sailboat. We've been, once in a while we convert ourselves into a karpa. The person who's created. You create and you play the role. You do the role play. We all do the role play. It's all 
just a game of my the illusion. The light stays in a, 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 a small uh, gap between so many rooms. Go for it. Enjoy the moments of having it all. Within the road that you play, have multiple roads. You have multiple roads anyway to play in your life. Try to segregate the all depending on different thoughts of your life you play. And be careful in terms of collecting those items in your all and bet them with a very clear strategy of what they are really worth to you. Not on short term, but on long term. Is it going to add peace to your life? Is it going to take away the peace from your life? Is it going to add wealth? Not the money, the wealth. Is it going to help you to build the wealth in your life? Or is it going to give me a feeling of being richness? Is it beautiful? Or is it attractive? That's it. Beauty or attractive? Don't go with anything that is attractive. All glitters are not good. Beauty comes from the feeling that you have. Right? Do you value something like this? Not being attractive. Attraction goes like that. A person who is attractive today will look will become an attractive tomorrow. It's true. Inner beauty. You should learn to cherish the inner beauty of people if you want to. Both the people, if you want to get people in your life. Position is not wrong. And I know people try to say, well, possessive, you don't try to say. Possessiveness is part of, uh, you know, who we are. We would like to possess things, yes. But then attachment and detachment is different from possession and not. Imagine, a male or a female, how they can build a great relationship with each other if they don't have the feeling of Possessing one another. I know people say, oh, 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 men are, women are not for possession. We cannot try to possess people. No, it's a natural, quite natural thing to possess. Okay? It's a human thing to possess. You, possession might look negative. It's not. That's a sincere. You are sincerity towards the longness of uh, uh, acquiring it. But your sincerity in keeping it, sincerity in keeping it. Now you tell me, possessiveness is good and bad. It is good because you are sincere to keep it. I know you cannot go beyond a certain extent, try to uh, value human as material. Human is human, material is human. Right? So you got to the next chain, and that is the character that you need to develop. So basically, you know, you have to collect each one of these things that you value, have multiple calls, and each one of these calls, do the pre rating process, create your own mechanisms of the uh, separation of the two. And then connect yourself to the discipline and uh, have develop, work on, you know, in, in many times it's. Uh, you, you may end up having things, but then uh, you may end up losing them quickly because uh, what you have in your own may be in conflict with somebody else. And even you have a set of halls that you have, the items that you got keep collecting as part of the halls may be in conflict with each other. Gotta be very careful in that area. And then, is too deep, uh, but then I don't want to simplify these things by giving instructions. You know, this is, you know, this is philosophy, and I, you, you know that uh, 
I try, I'm trying my best, I try my best to take you to, to the level as much possible for you to really go and uh, implement it. But then philosophy is purely to run the philosophy. Without this philosophy of having it out, you cannot achieve the feeling of uh, the practice of the mathematics. I hope you enjoyed this uh, conversation. I will uh, see you in another video. If you want to uh, listen to me more, and if you want to uh, receive my newsletters, please subscribe to uh, my inner circle, mayakannan.com slash inner circle. Drop an email, my staff will get to me as much so with the emails possible. Maya.kanan at mayakanan.com. Subscribe to the uh, podcast. We'll meet again.